So let's take a look now at some plays. As I said, it all starts with 21 personnel and Purdy's in the gun. You see Samuel and Ayuk stacked to the field. Now what's going to happen here is Ayuk's going to catch the inbreaker. How often do we see that? That is such a staple oh, yeah. of their offense, those inbreakers. So how do they create this void in the coverage? They do it with run action. They pull the guard. Use check crosses the formation. Purdy shows the ball to McCaffrey. It's all designed to move that linebacker. That's how you want to create the void. So now you have the void created in the coverage. You show a staple run look, move the defense, boom, Sal, there's the void. It really doesn't look that hard. Obviously, it's much harder than it looks, but there's the void. It's pitch and catch, beautifully done. So now I want to go head-to-head -head from last year's divisional playoff. Again, what did we say? It's 21 personnel. That's the starting point. And this is a four-by-one set. You don't see that a lot. And here's the route concept they're going to get. Another inbreaker by Ayu. That's what we talk about. And a bang eight by Kittle. Okay, he's the tight end to the close side of the formation. Now notice the post safety Malik Hooker. He's outside the hash, cheated to the quads side of the formation. And that linebacker, he's going to open up to the four receiver side. So Deron Bland now is covering Kittle and he's outside leverage here. Yep. He's in a tough spot. Kittle's going to run this route, and he's expanding it to create as much distance as he can from the safety hooker. Beautifully done, creates another passing window, Sal. You just see how this offense is so well-schemed to attack defenses. Yep. Man coverage 69% of the time for the Cowboys, right? Oh, they play a lot of man. 